Yeah, I guess I gotta accept the user license agreement. I don't know what I'm agreeing to, but if I want to play this thing, I guess I gotta accept it. It's like that, uh... Yeah. That sent uh, human Sentai Pad episode of South Park. Oh, you ever see that? Uh, yeah, oh, of course I've seen that. What am I agreeing to? I don't know. Yeah. Um, alright, alright. Well, hello and welcome to Studio Utani Podcast. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm Matt, and uh, I'm joined today by Justin and Mura. Trying out this thing, uh, Aliens Fire Team Elite, uh, which it was only called uh, Elite, uh, I think, uh, in the last couple months or so. Like before, it was just Aliens Fire Team, um, which is interesting. But uh, let's see, I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, so, uh, tried a little bit of this last night, actually, and. Uh, I don't know, it seemed a little bit strange to me, <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll go into it. It was a 20th Century studio. Yeah, logo. it was a different 20th Century logo than... Yeah, uh, that, that's a new title of the uh, the studio. It's 20th Century Studios now. Yeah. Times they are a-changing. Um, so, like, I, I played a little bit of this last night, and... Um, Oh, and there's, I guess, my uh, PlayStation name if you want to add me. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, it, it just kind of occurred to me that it was... Uh, it, it kind of occurred to me, like, this was, like, a big, like, mobile game. And the way that... And, and the, uh, I'll, the way I kind of mean that is it seemed very stripped down and very basic. Like... There isn't much of a story here, from what I can tell. Um, it really just kind of throws you right into the middle of, like, Marines. Like, you get a gun, you can okay. start shooting it. Um, yeah. Has anybody ever noted that the video games and the ships in a lot... Or not the video games, sorry, the weapons, I don't know. The weapons and the ships in a lot of sci-fi movies look very similar? Well, yeah, I mean, that's... I mean, that was the design from Aliens. It was okay. just like, it was supposed to look like a giant gun. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know if Aliens started that trope or not, but... Yeah. I mean... But yeah, that looks just like a futuristic gun. Yeah, they... ship there. Yeah, they wanted it to look like a pulse rifle. All right, let's jump into this thing. Um, so, I think the first thing we gotta do is create our character. Uh, Justin, what do you what do you think? Should we... Should play we... as a girl. Play as a girl? Yeah. Okay. Um... Let's see. We get uh, so so. We can see the play PlayStation Four is on its last legs. Uh, it's looking really janky, um, and part of that is just because seven looks good so far. Well, I mean, it doesn't look awful, but it's oh, like no, I'm saying. Oh oh, the woman. Oh, I see. seven and ten. I'm gonna go with seven. What? What do you think? I don't know. I'm kind of leaning more towards 10. She's more defined features. Uh, also, the uh, interface of this is kind of designed to be played on computer. Uh, um, it's okay. a Yeah, it's a little bit weird. Looks like I bet on the wrong horse, am I right? Um, I don't know. Uh, give her some green eyes. That looks cool. Uh, hairstyle. Um, Whoa. Yeah, dreadlocks. Um, oh, which, which uh, let's see here, the I kind of like the punk looking yeah, one, or or that guy. or that or that one. But what do you think? Or we can just do no hair. It gets it's inconvenient. Yeah. It gets in the way. But which you like? Yeah, let's go with the uh, Alien Three Ripley. <laughs> Alien Three Ripley. All right, interesting. Yeah, I kind of want to go with something though. Uh, I'm kind of... If you had to choose between these two... Yeah, go with the undercut. Yeah, yeah undercut. Alright. Purple... We gotta go with purple hair, right? Yeah. Or or green hair. Oh, purple hair. We'll do purple hair. Uh, we can make her sound like a guy if we wanted. Oh, really? Yeah. I got your back. Uh, I don't know if we can hear it on our end, but... I, I, I the basically from what I tested is four, five, and six were male voices, and one, two, and three were female voices. Let's see if it turned it up just for a second here, just so we can hear these voices. Yeah, yeah. Run into bypass. 
Like, one sounded good. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta go to number six. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> That's my character. All right, hell yeah. All right, get... Um... <laughs> Yeah, that really does look like a gun. Yeah, that was the design that James Cameron did back in 1980-whatever. Okay. I didn't know if that was the same ship. Now, uh, one thing, we can't hear the music very well on this, but uh, actually the music on this is actually scientists. a little bit closer to the music from me Alien than it is from Aliens. Okay. Which is interesting. It's that the more mysterious Jerry endure. Goldsmith Reproduce. vibe rather than the Survive. you know James Horner military uh, militaristic sort. The foes we're about to um, face evolved to win it all. So, like I said, uh, we're pretty light on plot here. I mean, they're basically just so long as they're describing, the like, standing. we're going to shoot some aliens. aliens and we're gonna shoot <laughs> there's aliens and, and we got to shoot them. <laughs> but they lack our purpose, our conscience, and our mercy. Tenacious is a Marine. 40th, 40th Marine, Marine Expeditionary Unit. This fight is not a this simple bug hunt. This fight is not a simple bug hunt. Know your strength. Work together know our and live enemy. to fight another day. Know your strengths. Work together our... and live to fight another All day. All right, Justin. I think we are in. Colonel Ship, <laughs> Shoot <up>. some aliens! <laughs> <laughs> do you have to keep track of how much ammo you have? Oh, shoot. Yeah, I think I do, actually. Uh, can I reload? Yep, there we go. All right. Hell yeah. Uh, all right, so I get, so here's one of the first things I noticed. Um, Do we have 442 cartridges to start out? Um, at least bullets. Okay. Uh, so so this guy's talking right now, and his lips are not moving. He's a very talented man. So he could be a very successful ventriloquist. Always a chance to see no more. Uh, orbitable, or, orbitable refinery and clear out of rim. Always a chance of xenomorphs. Oh, he said it. Yeah. Did did they, they, fine yeah. When did they first call them Staff xenomorphs? In the, uh, in the movies. Movies. It was aliens. Aliens. Yeah. Okay. But it, but it was it was the character of what's his face just trying to kind of sound smart. But then it just sort of became Mine the official. Paul Reiser? Not Paul Reiser. It was the uh, the one young military guy. He was basically just kind of saying, like, okay. you know, uh, he was trying to sound smart. It's like, it might be a xenomorph. Which just means... It just means uh, we don't know what it is. Yeah. Um, and maybe then, maybe of course, it, we have to have a Hispanic character like here yeah. a spear, in, in every one of these damn alien things. Yeah. Oh, and we get a character, like, we get, we get like, a dialogue tree here, but, um... Oh, this really was designed for PC. Yeah, it really... Wow. Yeah, no, and I, and I don't understand this functionality of the moving screen, either. Um, but we get a dialogue tree, and issue is it's like there's not enough of a story yet for me to really i i, I mean i don't know <laughs> yeah, what weird. option should i pick justin wait hold on you listen to what i say i'll get your ass yeah. out in the smallest, smallest possible, possible number of pieces and you, you can, can have, have a cookie. cookie well it sounds like we're gonna be friends yeah. got any questions now's the time what <laughs> you you don't deploy with us what kind of ship is this? No questions. I'm good to go. Goodbye. Still a goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Did the, the Pendales at the recruit depot depot give you any kind of briefing? They just kick your ass into cryo and call it a day. Depot, 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 cryo and call it a day. End of verse. Whatever. This cutting edge. United America's fleet. Uh, something station commission. Uh, Twenty one ninety four. All you can do is listen. Uh, apparently, and you have, look, look you at have those to, eyes. She's like, uh, but you have to confirm that you want to listen. Yeah, I, I, I guess so. I mean, well, I've seen that mechanic in, uh, more in better games. More amenities, bigger guns. Uh, you can kind of hear that. Transport from the seventies. Well, we're about three times the size, more self-sufficient, bigger guns. Oh, we get. What what one should I pick, Justin? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Always the right answer. Alright, so... 
so this is kind of what I'm imagining the game is. It's like a bunch of different scenarios, and they're going to like drop more over time. Respond to a distress call from Katanga Refinery. Refinery. Locate and extract Dr. Timothy Heineken, a Wayland yutani scientist. Well, he's from Wayland yutani I mean, is he really that important? Uh, his safety... Can we trust him? I don't... Tr well, I mean, I don't trust him. But I don't know if my character trusts him or not. That's a different story. Yeah. Um, Alright, I guess we'll jump into this one. Objective Fire Team, this is a rescue mission. You're boarding Katanga, a derelict orbital refinery. Ingress is via the uh, forward airlock. You'll locate, secure, and evac Dr. Tim Heineken, a Wayland Utani scientist. Mount up, people. Difficulty standard, assure, uh, cards enabled, matchmaking public. Um, okay. Sure. I Am I gonna get? Are am I gonna get people? Like, are we gonna get like random people in on this? Fire team, this is a rescue mission. You're boarding Katana. Oh yeah, it looks like. Oh shoot! It's multiplayer by default. You'll locate, secure, and evac Dr. Tim Oh shoot! Oh shoot! We got these guys. Um. Okay. Well. I guess I'm ready. Select challenge card. I don't know what that is. I guess you gotta pick one. Well, how do I pick it? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't. It's not giving me that option, so I don't know. I guess we gotta just wait 23 seconds. Yeah. I don't know, they're probably looking at me kind of, kind of like, yo, know, what the hell is this asshole doing? Alright, well this will be interesting. Let's make a fool of ourselves here. Yeah. So, uh, this is the perfect time for me to mention. I uh, do not know, uh, well, not that I don't know. I'm not very good at first-person shooters. Not my, not the kind of game I usually play, um, but we're gonna, I'm, I'm no help in that department. Well, I'm glad that I uh, picked you to be the co-host of this. <laughs> um, we'll find out. Let's see how, uh, see how this goes. Ingress, is that the name of the ship, or is ingress like a word? I don't know. Huh. You know what an egress is. Egress. It's yeah. like a or, window. Or about outgress. I don't know. I don't know. It sounds like gibberish to me. Grass, grass. It's the best I can come up with. Yeah. Very, very clever. So PS4 takes a while. Yeah. I mean, at least with the new game technology. I mean, this is probably one of the last games... That that's will it, come out. That's ever like it's one of the last games that was in development for the PS4. Yeah. Um. The same thing with like Cyberpunk. You and, said this is a mobile game too. No, no, no. no. I was saying, I was saying it's kind of like a mobile game. Oh shoot. Can I go into stealth mode? Oh shoot. Okay, so that's my melee. This is my sprint. Aim. Okay. Just emergency lights. And maybe we can kick the back of the blaze. Is it snowing in here? Well it did rain in the uh... In the first alien, yeah. Yeah. See, I figured it was, when I first watched it, I just figured it was condensation on pipes. Yeah, I mean, and then Ridley came in and said, it's actually, like, raining. Oh, okay. But Ridley's also insane, so. Yeah. Excited for his two movies. Yeah. Oh, shoot, are we, are we shooting? Are we firing? Yeah, he said there's no firing in there. Looks like somebody already shot it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Oh shoot, there's aliens in the game called Aliens. Who would've thought, who would've known? Oh no! Oh shoot. That's a lot of aliens, man. Yeah. So many aliens. I mean, gotta give them props for delivering on their promises, right? True. It is called Aliens. There better be some aliens, yeah. Yeah. So, so far, I am not disappointed. <laughs> Should somebody be facing the other Oh, direction? shoot. What? Ah, uh, maybe. But, I know, we made it out alive, so. And I guess you can just follow these guys. Yeah. Wait, wait, did you just do a flip? <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Woo! Doors welded shut. Sloppy work. Woo! Do another flip. Oh, I think I'm on a stamina ball. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. shoot. There's the. Oh, damn! I almost got got. Does that guy look like Kurt Russell? Escape yeah. from New York. Oh, damn. I got, an idea. I got an idea how to track down Honaker. Searching this whole barge would take too long. Oh, I can. Alright. Movement. Tell you my idea. Ammo. Cool. They're coming out of the walls! Well, there are a lot of aliens. I, I kind of don't like the fact that they're all highlighted, but I also get it. I, I think it would be scarier if they were... There's already a few issues with this game. Yeah, yeah, it's really janky. Whoa, that's a green look. It's not the same, uh... Well, first off, it's, it's very bright. And uh, I, I, that's what I'm kind of saying. I think it would be scarier if the aliens were, like, you couldn't see them, right? Like, they're they're literally coming out of the walls or whatever. You know, they blend in. Yeah, they should have kept some of the gameplay of Alien Isolation. Well, that was a different company. Yeah. I think it's just Alien Isolation, by its very concept, kind of forced people, forced them to be innovative. Oh, shoot. We got yeah. Probably. Um, yeah, I was very impressed by Alien Isolation. This just seems like anyway, seems like any other game. Uh, you know. Well, you see, here's the thing: it is like any other game, except it's not, not as impressive. Point, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so far, I'm not. Uh... Yeah, so far, I'm just kind of like, yeah, whatever. Like alien. Oh, alien. there's a red. There's a, look. There's a red alien. Do you have to worry about getting hit by the splatter? Um, so you would think, but, I mean, I, I think I'm doing pretty okay. Where's your health? I, I think it's at the top bar. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think uh, we're doing pretty good shooting these aliens. I forget what our mission is. <laughs> oh, the, the bar in the middle is my stamina. <clears throat> okay. I like that, that we just kind of have these unlimited ammo refill stations. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's cool. That way you never run out of ammo when you're shooting the aliens. My, uh, my character's favorite part of training was learning parkour. Just somersaults. Whoa, there's more aliens! Shoot. Oh, 
Oh dang. Oh no, I got hit by acid. It would be really cool if they did this game, but... Actually, like, scary? And... Yeah, and they made it like like Alien Isolation. Like, <laughs> if, I, if they did a, if you did a combination of Alien Isolation that's in a shooter. Right. You know, that would be really cool. Yeah, I mean, if they actually made it, like, intense and terrifying, like, this right. is just three guys with a gun and a bunch of aliens just randomly showing up. Yeah. Oh shoot, we got a Dilophosaurus one, I guess. Well, we don't have to worry about him anymore. Yeah, you did aliens to alien isolation. I love how we're only game. like 10 minutes into this and you're. Or first thing, it's like, I wish it was a better game. <laughs> I just don't see it uh, getting much better. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean, so far it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Uh, get back, alien! Oh shoot! Well, now they're ganging up on us a little bit. Now it's now it's getting a little crazy. And you can come in contact with an alien and not die. Yeah. That well, doesn't make any sense. Well, I mean, crazier things have happened. Like you can punch an alien in the face in this game. Oh. Oh, thanks, Stark95. Appreciate it, buddy. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, you can't shoot them when they get too close because then you'll get hit by the acid blood. I guess that makes sense. Is there a way to talk to people you're playing with? Um, I'm sure there must be. I mean, we have the volume turned down, so for all I know, they could be trying to talk to me right now and be like, hey, asshole. Yeah. Quit slacking. Oh, shoot. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh shoot. Get back, alien. <laughs> oh, there's one that's spitting acid. That's different. I'm gonna shoot you dead. Whoa! You just spent acid in my face. And I'm, You're I'm still alive. I'm still standing. They trained some hardcore, you know, MFers in the Colonial Marines. Apparently. Acid blast to the face. <laughs> the data access I mentioned yeah, if this were alien isolation, we'll you would have died about 50 times by now? Yeah, probably. So, here's the thing leading up to this, is like, they kept on showing, like, here's this type of alien, and here's- OH NO! WHAT DO I DO?! Oh, you fought it off. Well, I think they shot it away from me. So, I guess... There is a penalty if you don't shoot them. I guess. But anyway, leading up to the release of the movie, they said, here's this type of alien, here's that type of alien, here's this kind of gun, and they're like, it's all the same thing. I mean, you don't have to treat, like, any one alien differently than the other. At least, from what I can tell here. Oh, my ammo is low. Oh, no. But that's okay. Here's a refill box. 
Okay, all better. Woo! 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 Oh no, aliens. Sup I wish I could say I was surprised. Oh shoot, what's getting me? Oh no, I'm gonna die. What, hap oh, what happens if I die? I mean, I guess that's a question that everybody has, right? Yeah. Gotta talk to a philosopher. Thank you. Yeah. I will be a moment. Who would knew who who would have known that a game about shooting a bunch of aliens you know would you know, bring up so many complex questions. <laughs> it was pretty lame. <laughs> I mean, what I could have told you that from the forty dollar price tag. <laughs> it was gonna be kind of lame. I got one of my favorite games for twenty bucks. Well, well, one was that Cuphead. Yeah, but Cuphead's a different. Cuphead wasn't like a triple A title. Right. But it's probably, it probably into. Independently made. I don't know. Small studio. It was probably a small. Yeah, but it's team. I mean, Cuphead ain't got nothing on this shit. Oh no. Oh no. What? I. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I mean, the, the problem I... Maybe it's just because this is the opening level. Maybe it's a little bit easier or whatever. But I'm like, why are the... I don't understand why it's not, like, dark and, and stuff. Why are you, why you make it so easy to see the Right. Alien? Yeah, that's what all the movies... Yeah, I mean... every sing, Pretty much every single Alien movie made use of the fact that the alien is black. Yeah. yeah. And is disguised as dark. Oh uh, yeah, I mean that—that's what aliens did. So that, I'm pretty sure every movie yeah. did that at some point. Yeah, I'm just kind of like. Except really Prometheus. Well, yeah, well Prometheus is its own thing. The next level is apparently inspired by Prometheus. Oh, that might be cool. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm wondering, like, I—I I think the sentiment is going to remain the same. This really isn't all that fun, but. I am saying that maybe it would be a little bit more interesting in a different environment that actually kind of made use of the, you know, the darkness. Mm -hmm. Like, because, I mean, I mean, basically, this is really, really straightforward. Point and shoot. And then you run into these very conveniently placed ammo boxes that don't be able to give, put a med kit on yourself. Um, there, I probably can. I don't know how. Okay. <laughs> oh, is, it, is that lives that are right below that bar? Uh, maybe. Looks like a skull. Yeah, it look. looks like a skull, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to talk to no scientist. Y'all fuckers are lying and getting me pissed. Puddle of chunky marinara. That's kind of funny. I could go for some marinara. Yeah, that sounds good. Another glorious day in the core. Internal leaks. That's never, you never want to hear that. This department's got more leaks than the Iraqi Navy. Got him. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh, but now I'm I'm revived. 
<laughs> that was easy. Yeah. No, you see, we got the situation under control. Which is why Aliens was such a great movie. Is they, the, we watched those badass Marines, you know, just have the situation completely under control. That's why it's great. Yep. That's seriously what this game really is missing. Above everything else, is there's no sense of like panic. Yeah. Oh, it just no. seems like any other shooter. I can't tell. Oh, I mean, it's kind of like Left 4 Dead. Right, you're just shooting a bunch of... But, but Left 4 Dead was fun. This seems fun so far. It's not... It's not... It's just not hard. <laughs> right, I mean... Yeah. I, you should make that clear that it's like... It, it's... Not that it's not fun, it's just not challenging. Yeah. I mean, Left 4 Dead created moments of, like, panic. That this, uh, so far, I'm just like, I feel, I feel like a badass Marine. But that's a weird thing. It's like, everybody, like, the people who don't like aliens always complain, like, it made the alien not scary. And they're like, I, I disagree with that. Because it did make it a little less scary. Well, to an extent, but but people they want to make it it's like oh it's just about a bunch of badass marines shooting aliens. It's like they did not have that situation under control. It was it was scary because they were put into a situation where yeah. they had no control right. and they didn't know what they were doing. And it's like I've always defended aliens on the grounds that it's not the movie that people you know who criticize it say it is, and this is exactly what the game. You know, trying to make that. You know, it's like the game is a reflection of the like the straw man criticism. Yeah. It's like this is James Cameron. Which will only which only hurts the reputation of aliens. But, well, you know, well, making making a game based off aliens that's just shooting aliens. Not well, I mean, I did, and and that's mostly just kind of within the fandom. I think general audiences and critics acknowledge Aliens is a great movie. And most yeah. of the fandom does too, but there's just like this weird little sect of the fandom that really just doesn't like Aliens because it wasn't directed by Ridley Scott. Like, I, there was somebody who said something one time, I was like, can we consider Aliens canon because it wasn't like Ridley Scott directed? Like, is Ridley Scott, like, the gatekeeper of the franchise? I mean, I know he wants to be, but, I mean... He, he directed, like, three of the six movies. I mean, if you're talking about a series canon, every movie in the series is... Right, yeah. ...canon. Well, yeah. If you're talking, you know, what movies you would, con you know, what someone personally considers uh -oh, alien movies. I am down. Oh, no. Oh no. I could see somebody saying only the Ridley Scott alien movies are the movies I consider. <laughs> the alien, alien is like, get, dude, get out of the way. I gotta go get these guys. <laughs> um. Oh, I think you're a saint. What? Thought you had you down, fucker. Um. Yeah, I don't agree with that. <laughs> I think that's kind of silly. It was kind of like, it'd be kind of like saying that, oh no, well damn, we gotta do God of War controls. Um, it's kind of like saying, are the first three Harry Potter movies canon, they weren't directed by David Yates. Well, Ridley Scott's a good director. That's the, <laughs> that's the difference oh, there. You know what, fair enough. And so is Chris, Chris Columbus. Yeah. And so is Alfonso Cuaron, so... Yeah, I would just, I would honestly, if I had to say something, I'd say all the David Yates movies aren't canon. Because <laughs> they're all piles the, of shit. They, they're not as interesting as the Chris Columbus or the Alfonso Cuaron movies. Yeah. Definitely. Four wasn't bad. Well, four, four wasn't bad because it was... It was new. It, yeah, yeah. And, and but little did we know, 
it was just going to become... That was just the series from now on. It's, yeah. it's like all the other Harry Potter movies post Gobble to Fire just sort of blend into one another. Yeah. Like, inexpr inexpr I don't even think remember Half-Blood Prince. It's hard. I think a big part of that was that the story became, oh, let's track down all of these uh, the whole objects. Car. And I think that's a tear that never works in movies. Yeah. You know, that's... Yeah. Well, what do you mean? They did it in Rise of Skywalker. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> now that now we'd be done made it political. <laughs> um oh cool. Um I don't know what any of these mean. <laughs> I suck. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, you took the most damage? Well yeah, I I went down like fifty times and they went down like Oh yeah, we still have to find Dr. Heineken. Our mission hasn't changed. Um, find him yeah, I guess we'll continue this. You get more lives? Um, I don't know. I don't... Well, yeah, I don't, we'll I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know how to revive people. Yeah. Might be a good thing to know. Well, there's probably an option when you, like, if so, you go down to somebody and it would be like, um, you know, the, a button will pop up or something. Um, I wonder if we'll shoot any aliens in this level. Here, here's what they needed to do. We needed to have, like, the first level needed to just be, here's the basics. And then we'll maybe bring in some aliens. And then the next one could be, like, full-on onslaught. Well, you would need to make the aliens stronger. For that to work, right? You you can you couldn't just make them cannon fodder. Well, that's exactly what this game did. Yeah, if you know, I'm saying if you wanted to gradually add aliens, you would have to make them really. Oh yeah, absolutely. As strong as they should be. Yeah, but that's also video game progression. Yeah. Is it, I want to upgrade my stamina just so I can travel like this. Oh, we got four lives still. Oh, shoot. Back up to four. Well, isn't there? Whoa! Moniker, you read? Oh, no! Yeah, lock clear. Listen, to get to me, you'll have to go shoot through the right network through security me. room. Upgrade my stamina just so I could travel. I, I just want to do these look. Oh no, the alien came down from the vent and I shot it and it's dead and it wasn't really a threat. That snow, I mean, that snow is weird. Well, it's it's like a just environmental particle. I just don't know what's making it or why. I locked down the deck. Oh my god, you see that dude's face? I did not. That was weird. It, it, it was stark, it looked, right? It looked like those working Joes. Yeah. Oh shoot. Oh shoot, do we have like an android plant? I think it's just bad, uh. <laughs> bad graphics. Bad graphics? Oh no. Oh yeah. Already collected. Pick up. Oh, first aid? For, oh, my first aid is maxed? How do you do first aid? Oh, I'm Some glad you're press. here. I can see you on my monitors now. Wait, xenomorphs. Heading to uh oh, there's more xenomorphs. Oh Let shoot. Us it. Oh, you can blow shit up. Yeah, how do you do first? Uh, it might be good to know. Uh, <clears throat> how do you do first aid in this? Can you look it up? Yeah, I was about to look it up. I forgot. You're too distracted by the amount of aliens that are on screen. I will say this. This is much more competently made than uh, Aliens Colonial Marines, which came out, God, like eight years ago. And that was a notorious shit show. Up 
other players with the med kits. Hold on. Wait, you can't. You can only heal other players, not yourself. Let me see. I just got. Google doesn't know anything. On your right flank. Oh no! Oh, we got a Michigan flower in there. These are all like Alien 3 aliens. They don't have the back spines. You mean they got like a bunch of dogs and or cows in this facility? To use it, press and hold on your D-pad. Which button? It just says press and hold up. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Uh. Players, okay, cool. I healed myself. Yay! They said you can only carry one at a time, though. Oh shoot! I better, I better grab, I better grab another one. Oh, we got. Who's this asshole? Alpha. Oh shoot! Did Stark quit? Laser Blaze and Alpha, or no, Layer Blaze. Okay, I'm following your lead because you look like Kurt uh, Russell. And I don't know what's going on, I just know we're shooting aliens. There's, if this is gonna be like Left 4 Dead, there has to be a mode where you can play as the alien, right? That would be cool. I mean, that's what they did in Left 4 Dead 2. You could play as, like, the special aliens, like that one. Or the special zombies, rather. I can't go over the rail. <laughs> Alpha, you better catch up, because I'm following Laser Blaze. Or light Layer Blaze. Got your back. I got your back, boo. Break some pipes to blow. What? Put enough bullets in them and their body just falls apart. Just the way God intended. Behind you. When God invented uh guns. God invented aliens? Did you know there was going to be an alien, uh, like, kids TV show on uh, Kids WB? Wow. It was Operation Aliens, and it was based, obviously, upon, like, the 86 film, and, um, they decided not to do it because they were like, well, you know, it's an R-rated adult property. We probably shouldn't make a kid show out of it. It seems pretty logical, but they actually did create like a bunch of merchandise and shit for it. it just they didn't end up selling it. Wait. Got you back, Layer Blaze. Oh, is that a working Joe? Fuck that thing. I don't want no working Joes. Is that like Joe Six Pack? You know the working Joes from Alien Isolation. Yeah. Remember that 2008 election? <laughs> Kinda. Joe Sixpack. Oh. Joe the Plumber. Oh yeah, that guy. 
Joe Biden. <laughs> We're becoming dangerously close to making this political. Um, I'm just saying, so, uh, we need that wall. <laughs> Citation needed. Um. Oh, shoot. Better go we gotta get keep all the aliens out. You better go get them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The, uh, the views of, uh, of um, Mother and Justin do not support the views of Studio all the time. I actually do not support those views, for the record. Like, they're kind of silly and kind of dumb. Just like this guy. We need a wall to stop bird migrations. <laughs> yeah, there's too many animal migrations between Mexican and America. I don't trust them. <laughs> We need to, uh... Oh no, I'm out of ammo. Damn it, I'm out of ammo. This I is didn't, not... I didn't know that was possible. <laughs> Wait, here's some ammo. ammo. Alright, we're all better now. <laughs> Woo! You That's reload, good. Though. That's good. I was getting panicked for a second. Oh. Oh, shoot. This whole place should be like melting at this point. There's so much acid yeah. blood. Yeah. Yeah. Well, aliens was kind of light on the effects of acid blood. I, they I used it correctly. They used it when they needed to. Yeah. But it was kind of already implied, like in the environment and shit. Hashtag worth it. Oh shoot. Mother's unhappy I shot working Joe. Great. Now your lungs won't freeze on the way in. In theory. I do not want working Joe's to come. The working Joe's coming to life and and attacking would be way scarier than the aliens. Yeah. Oh yeah, if those are the same working Joe's from Isolation. Isolation, yeah, fuck that. Yeah. Oh, thanks, La Lahar Blaze. Get some! They must have a bunch of dogs or cows here because these are like the Alien 3 aliens. Hey, check this. Hair blaze, no! Whoa, you just shoved that alien off. What a badass. Absolute badasses! Triple kill! C -c 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 Combo! Yeah, I mean. This is kind of the problem with the aliens brand, is it just throws so many aliens at you, it's not really frightening. Yeah. Like, there needed to be more to this. Like, it needs to be more about the suspense of, like, when they might show up. Yeah. Not just an onslaught of aliens. And they need to give you more of a mission. I think. Right, right. Something more specific and something more, uh, like, this is very broad. Like Something you actually have to, like, think about and figure out how to do. Yeah, tech. Yeah. Like, I, I know it sounds crazy, right, but actually, like, play as, like, a team. Yeah. Like, like a team of Marines. Yeah. I, I don't know. This is the first mission. Maybe their other missions get more in-depth, but, I don't know, this is... This is pretty straightforward, as it were. It's 
it's like, I'm not even really terrified of these aliens getting up in my grill because I can just shoot them off and there's a bunch of other, like, safeguards that are gonna, like, if I get taken down, I can get revived and the aliens aren't attacking me when I'm down. Mm -hmm. Like, um, unfortunately, it's like, I know some people didn't like Alien Isolation because it was just like, almost too difficult in a way, but it's like, that's what made it scary though, it's just like, you could die and just lose a ton of progress on a whim because you weren't careful. Mm -hmm. It's one of the reasons why like, Dark Souls is great. It's like, it's, it's challenging and it's very punishing. But there's, you know, there's actual consequences for failure. And in this, there isn't really any. Another damn swarm? Another damn swarm. Who would have thunk it? How many people died to make this swarm? Like, these things... Like, these things seem to go down with relative ease. I mean, there was not a single weapon in this facility, like, that hundreds if not thousands of people, you know, couldn't fend off these things. I, I mean, I don't know. Why don't they just nuke the whole thing? you saying they should just take off and nuke the entire site from orbit? Yeah. It's the only way to be sure, right? Yep, only way to be sure. I do not have any more ammo. Oh wait, there's an ammo box. Perfect. Okay. We're good now. You need a med kit, too. Oh, do I? Oh, I do. Shoot. Only if we get a chance. There's no med kits there. Nope. That's just ammo. Are we on a space station, they said? Me, it's me. It, it, well, I'm just saying, that, like, the context of this, like, they said this was like an orbital space station. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, how, how the many people were on this space station, and they were all taken out by facehuggers? Oh, here's a big guy. I'm... Oh no, I'm down. Rebooting. Oh, thanks, Alpha. You guys are the best Marine Team pals that purple hair chick could have. Uh, that one knows me. Followed me. We, and we I, I don't know if our characters are speaking at all. I mean, I can't hear the gruff on voice LA on my character. He came up here with us. We didn't know, we didn't know until the woman, who, the woman who the one it came out of. Her name was Monica. Her name was Monica. Lewinsky? Alien. I thought things usually came on to her. Wah, wah. Whoa! I did not have sexual relations with that alien. Depends on what the definition of is. It depends on what the definition of alien is. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess we gotta do something. Uh, oh shoot, what do we do? Oh wait, can... Hold on. Oh, I can hide behind here. That's... 
I don't know how useful that is, but that is something you can do. I mean, this doesn't seem like a stealth game to me. No. <laughs> it doesn't seem to me like you can just sneak up on the aliens and Seems do it. Seems like you need some help. Yeah, yeah what are we doing here? Are we just waiting for the elevator? Go out. Well, that's crazy. I haven't been paying much attention. I'm not. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Maybe the game's gonna get harder. Yeah, maybe we were just too quick to judge it. <laughs> I doubt it, but what? Well, what the fuck is up with this guy? That's what I. That's what I was talking. But about. no, you were saying that about the earlier guy. This is a new guy. No, it's not. The other guy was like uh, Tony Stark or whatever. Okay. This is Alpha. Alpha Pacino. Man, I saw Carnito's way the other day. Yeah, I was that? Fire. Who directed that? Was it, that was, was, I was going to say, you're on that De Palma kick. Yeah. It's better, if, it's better than Scarface. Oh, is it? Yeah. What if Brian De Palma directed an alien? Good or, would that be good or would it be bad? It would be good. Yeah, he could do it. If you could pick any director to direct an alien, who would you pick? Ooh, that's a good question. Any director who hasn't directed an alien? Yes. Yeah. Um. Hmm. That's gonna take me a minute. Somebody said Christopher Nolan, and I was like, nope. That wouldn't be good. Christopher Nolan is, like, sexually repressed. He would yeah. not be a good choice for an alien movie. Right. All right, what's the sexiest thing to happen in a Nolan movie? Uh, in The Dark Knight Rises when... Catwoman uh, on the motorcycle? Not even that. It's, it's when uh, uh, Bruce Wayne is, like, uh, it, you know, he sleeps with... Uh, I'd say Catwoman's costume. It's the sexiest yeah. thing to happen in a Nolan movie. We, we, yeah, which is saying something, but it's almost kind of shocking that you had the James Bond-esque sex scene in that film. Yeah. Because it's kind of out of character for both um, Nolan and, you know, that iteration. The that movie thing. was just a clusterfuck. Yeah, I mean, it's not the greatest. I don't hate it, but... Locks are dropping. I haven't watched it since... Can... Since 2012? Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> They're coming. I've, I've dabbled. And the I, thing that's stuck around most is probably Bane. Right. Oh, yeah, In Bane. The cultural zeitgeist. And, and, and Christer, uh, Christian Bale's uh, Batman voice, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. shoot your babies. He was I'm a gun. He was an alien. Could be any more obvious. And now I will shoot you. Think, who would be really good at directing? Um, I mean, it's a good question. Neil Blomkamp but uh, just spoke out about his movie. Well, he just spoke out about it. He said Ridley Scott. Really? He basically just said Ridley Scott told him he can't make the movie. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him on uh, Joe Rogan talking yeah, about that. Like, that's harsh. Yeah. Just being told like. Uh, yeah, you're, you're, you can't make this movie. You're not good enough. Like, that's like, that's harsh. And I don't even think Chappie was that bad. No, it wasn't. No, I, I, I think Chappie got a bad rap. I think Elysium was, was that bad. Yeah, Elysium was, uh, yeah, Elysium's yeah. not a good movie. But, uh, Chappie, I, I actually quite enjoyed. Yeah. But Ridley Scott did not enjoy it, so... We didn't get Alien 5 or whatever. Uh-huh. And we probably never will. I would still vouch for Bon Camp, though. I'd, I'd be interested to see his take. Yeah. Even if it, like, erased Alien 3 and Alien Resurrection, which... I'm, I'm fine without Alien 3. Yeah. I mean, and, and I don't... 
need alien resurrection, so... Basically, his concept would have made those films just like bad dreams and hypersleep. Which, to be honest, given how surreal both of those movies are, especially Resurrection, that's not entirely, like, outlandish. Well, I don't have any more medkits, damn. But, you, you don't, you, you, off the top of your head, like, director for an alien movie. Um, Tim Burton would be it. Oh, really? It'd be interesting. It'd be interesting. I don't think it'd be good. It'd be interesting. Yeah. It'd be really kind of Alien Resurrection times infinity. Yeah. It'd just be, like, really insane. Oh. Oh. Is he getting up? Wait, 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 wait. He's dead. Oh, wait. No, no. We're good. You got two more lives. You'll be fine. Yeah. We'll get through this mission. Or this part of the level. Tim Burton would be interesting to see. I would not choose Tim Burton personally. First, yeah, if I ran a studio, I wouldn't, I wouldn't give it to Tim Burton. But I'm just think, thinking hypothetically, it would be, it would be something different. Yeah, I don't know. Like, does Tim Burton do? Tim Burton does a lot of weird stuff. He doesn't do like a a lot of like hypersexual stuff. So. Yeah. yeah. Lars von Trier. I, I would not hate that, to be honest. So, uh, That'd be something. something. A Lars von Trier alien movie. Uh, he'd be good with the. Just make he'd a, be good with the, uh, you know. The thematic stuff. Yeah. Disney would never hire him. Nope. Yeah, look well, at this team of badasses. Now we've got to get and, him and safely I'm pretty sure this guy's a robot. You hear he's work, uh, Montreux is working on the new season of his TV show. Down to us for pickup. Um, on you. what is it? Rigid? Yeah, I'm Rigid? not familiar. Okay, he did a two, it's a hospital, it's like Twin Peaks, but instead of a town, it's a hospital. Okay, that's, that sounds like a Lars von Trier film. Yeah, and it's, uh, he did two seasons back in the mid-90s. For Danish television. Oh wait, he he's... already did it. Yeah, he did two seasons in the mid '90s, and he's got a third season coming out. Oh shoot! Like okay. Now, or I'm not sure exactly when the release date's gonna be, but there's a trailer out for it already. Right on. Oh shoot, we got Dr. Heineken. Oh, you got him. Got him. All right, where are we doing? I guess we're going this way. Let's shoot some aliens. I'm ready. I got four lives, and I'm all stocked up on ammo. We're good to go. Um, you know, I mean, it, Twin Peaks in a hospital, directed by Lars von Trier. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm down. Yeah, it's. You can find it on YouTube. It's. Here they come. Uh oh, here they come. I only saw the first like two episodes of it. I Whoa, thought it was good. Here they come. Watch out! Oh, well, yeah, they really are coming. Out. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I mean, if I had to pick a, the next, like, director for an alien film, that would, like, realistically be hired to do it, it'd probably be, it probably wouldn't be a famous director, honestly. I, I, I imagine it'd be some kind of up-and-coming, like, mm -hmm. you know, Gareth Edwards type. Not Gareth Edwards. I actually don't think Gareth Edwards would be the right person. Glad you gave me that pistol. I mean, I don't know. But he did, uh, that 2014 Godzilla? Yeah. yeah. Well, and I thought he was good for that. Yeah, he was good. The, the issue... Here, here's the thing with Gareth Edwards, like, as far as, like, Alien is concerned. Like, I feel like in some ways he's kind of... His style is kind of like Christopher Nolan... I think he, from what I've seen, I've only seen, gosh, I've only seen Godzilla 2014, I think, by you, Gary Thunder. Did you see Rogue One? No. Oh, Rogue One's not bad. But I'd say he's a better, oh, he's, I, he is in the same vein of, as Nolan, but yeah, he's a better actor. I, I just think, think. kind of going back to, like, yeah. Nolan's, like, kind of lack of sexual politics, like, Gareth Edwards just doesn't deal with that. Yeah. And... 
Alien, it's too hardwired into what the series is about. Right. So you, you kind of have to have a director that's Junction's willing to kind of get weird with it, you know? Yeah. Oh, we got a beta of this. Beta! Oh, shoot, did Lars Laserfish leave? Oh, shoot. God, I guess we must have pissed them off. <laughs> it's all on you now. Yeah, they're just kind of like, yeah, fu fuck this guy. Damn. Now the pressure's on. <laughs> Alright, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not playing with this fool. Down eight flights. Subject three eight. Um. Good yeah, I don't know. I would have to think about who would direct an alien. That isn't uh, Ridley Scott. Yeah, if I had to, if I had to pick a director for an alien movie, I'd pick Ridley Scott. You think yeah. so? Oh, yeah. you, you, you th do you think uh, they're gonna do the third prequel or? I don't, I don't know enough about studio politics to know if it'll ever happen. I have my but doubts. How old is, is Ridley? Ridley seventy? Oh no, no, he's in his eighties. He's in his eighties? Yeah, Ridley. Really, yeah, they're never gonna make it. Whoa. Well, also because of the mixed reception and the the box office of Alien Covenant. I, I think mean, if he ever makes another movie, it depends on whether Gucci and The Last Duel do well. Otherwise, I don't see anybody giving an 80-year-old another another like. big sci-fi another horror. hundred million dollar <laughs> budget. You know, I mean, he's apparently very heavily involved with um with the the TV show that's coming okay. out. Okay. Like, to the point where it's, like, being labeled under from the mind of Noah Hawley and Ridley Scott or something. Okay. So, like, okay, so he, he is... He does have a say in that. Yeah. They're in the Do you know if he's directing any of it? You know... I would imagine they give him an episode or two. Or I make him have him do the pilot and maybe one. Yeah, yeah I mean it's really Scott. Yeah. And it's That'd alien. Be, that would so. be cool. Yeah, I mean that would probably be like if they don't do another prequel. I mean the least they can do is <laughs> give him an episode or two of the show. All right. I mean why the hell not? Yeah, that'd be that'd be dope. Yeah. So I just I don't know how. Disney actually would be to do more of the David stuff. As, as cool as that is, it's just not a pe enough people were into it. It was just yeah. too weird for most people. I, again, I, I love that shit. I thought, wow, this is fascinating. But yeah. for most people, it just wasn't what yeah, I thought was. Fassbender was definitely the best part of those prequels. Yeah, no, he saved yeah. Alien Covenant from yeah. absolute disaster. Yeah, he turned Alien Covenant into a good movie. Yeah, well, he made it... Like, like Alien Covenant, like, for all intents and purposes, kind of... was kind of messy, but Fassbender kind of grounded it, is the thing. He turned what, what, what could have been just an okay movie into a very good movie. I yeah. thought that was one of the... one of the best, uh... I mean, kind of... sci-fi movies I'd seen in a long time. Well, I mean, just kind of going better on commentary on it, like, uh, the... I really feel like the character stuff in it is really, really poorly done for the most part. But then Michael Fassbender comes in and, like, just saves the movie. Yeah. Like, it saves it from absolute mediocrity. In my mind. Oh no, I'm out of ammo. Damn. Can't help you guys. Uh, do we got an unlimited ammo box somewhere? Did I pass one? Excuse me. Whoa. Nope. Can't go that way. Yeah. 
Uh, I don't... Okay, I guess we'll just follow the target then, and maybe I'll run into an ammo box at some point. I'll have to let these guys run the show for now. Oh, wait, there's one. Knew there couldn't be one. Yeah, they, the, those developers knew what they were doing. They knew... What, okay, they're probably going to run out of bullets at this point, so we better put a magical ammo box right there. Oh, shoot. Incendiary rounds. Oh, boy. Yeah, now it's a party. Blow some shit up. Yeah. Uh-oh, Costa... Uh, uh, Caution, hostiles incoming. I combine words. Hostiles incoming. They're coming. Happens to the best of us. God! Oh, shoot. I'm firing the incendiary rounds. You got 70 more. I, oh, really? Yeah. But I'd say switch to... How do I switch? If I knew, I'd tell you. Thanks, yeah. that's very helpful. You want helpful. me to look it up? Um, yeah, it might be. Oh, oh shoot, I threw a grenade. <laughs> Fowler. Yeah, there has to be a mode where you can play as the alien, because in Left 4 Dead, one of the zombies... You know, that you can play as it was uh, just called a Prowler, I think. I haven't forgotten that shit. Sorry, Beta. Beta! Well, by the time you figure that out, I'm going to be out of the incendiary ammo. Look up Aliens, Fire Team Elite, How to Change Ammo, PS4. Oh, shoot. Look how many aliens there are. They're everywhere. Too many aliens, too many aliens. It's because it's so obvious we're just supposed to know. Mm -hmm. Have you tried every button? Have you tried pushing all the buttons? Oh, I guess we gotta go this way now. How do you normally toggle weapons in shooters? I don't know, I don't play shooters. This is all sorts of bad news. Maybe one of the buttons on the back? Uh, like one of the trigger buttons? Yeah. I mean, we got an aim. I don't know what mode this is. What? That's weird. Oh shoot. Access the memory. Unlock exit. All in the day's work. Zero two. I'm amazed that I survived this long. Oh, that's different. Uh, at least I've seen him a couple of times. Beta. Who says that? That's that's Jesse Lee Pearson, right? I don't know. Oh, you have. I know who Jesse Lee Pearson is. Oh, yeah, he does that. Beta. I do not know. Oh, no. oh you dead. Rebooting, rebooting. 
Yeah. Looks like you spoke too soon, sir. Oh, that was a promo shot from the teaser. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wow. And they got different names for the Xenomorph. Well, yeah, they got like the regular ones, and then they got like those special ones that they've been, that have been popping up. Like the spitter and the and the uh, prowler and and like those are like the left or dead. Like here, yeah, there's a spitter. Clear. Yeah. So, kind of like. Uh, what I was saying earlier, this is a bunch of shooting and not a whole lot of, like, teamwork shit. But then again, I also had my teammates abandon me, so maybe I just suck. Um, but I, I almost feel like less aliens, more tension, more specific, like, tasks, and then just kind of have short burst of aliens. You like make them strong. Yeah, exactly. And that would have made him. This would have made it a lot scarier, but. I guess they were worried about people getting bored, maybe. Yeah. But. That's not a justification. How well reviewed was Alien Isolation? Did it, in general, get positive feedback all around? Uh, in general, yeah, Alien Isolation was very positively received. It did not make a bunch of money, unfortunately. But mm. it was very well received. And I haven't really looked at the reviews of this game, but I can't imagine them being any more positive than just ho hum. Yeah. Like, eh, it was entertaining if you just want to get some friends together and shoot some aliens for a couple hours. Yeah. But is this like an actually like a serious like Call of Duty or even like Left for Dead kind of game. I can't imagine it. It's too repetitive. Mm -hmm. Even if we get into the next level, which is supposedly like Prometheus themed and shit, like it's just a different aesthetic. Bypassing mm death. -hmm. I don't even know what the story is at this point. Door heads locked down. More oh, it's Joe, locked down. This? There's more working Joes. Oh no, I need to get download more synth data. Alpha, no! <clears throat> Alright, download the synth data. Oh shit. Well, now what? Access memory. There we are. Send oh, we got it. Code. Cool. Let's go, boys. What were the reviews on this? Where do you go for video game reviews? I don't know, just look up Aliens Pirate TV Elite reviews. Man, you see they're coming out with Flaming Hot Mountain Dew? But, wait, can you repeat that again? Flaming Hot Mountain Dew. What? The, what? Like, you know, Flaming Hot Cheetos. I know it's like Flaming, Flaming Hot, hot Cheetos, Cheetos, but Flaming Hot Mountain Dew? I gotta try it. 
Um, I don't know. That sounds like it would, uh, it sounds like it's hazardous to human health. Yeah. Sounds like it would be interesting with different kinds of liquor. <laughs> well, you're, you're probably not wrong about that. Well, might mean, be I'm... might be funny to replace the label on it with the chair with the uh, code red label. The slip oh, to somebody. Is it red? I think so. Oh shoot! So we're safe. That wouldn't be very nice. I'd say that's a negative. I wonder if you, can you just speed run this game? Or can you just run past all the aliens? And, I don't know. So the headlines for the reviews, finally, co-op action worthy of this franchise. Oh, oh, okay. This is fine but not special, it almost gets there though. Ooh, ooh. Not a great alien game. Throwaway thrills. Forgettable Left 4 Dead alike. I mean, won't blow your mind, but will keep you entertained. I mean, sounds about right. Yeah. It's it's just like the best you can say is it's fine. Mm hmm. But I'm almost like disappointed because it's like it could be better. And and this is like this is the thing. I'm a big believer that expectations play a huge role in reception. Um, my expectations for this were fairly minimal. Like, the $40 price tag kind of really didn't do it any favors as far as, like, hype for me, but maybe that was the idea. Like, if I went into this thinking this is going to be amazing, um, I would have been even more colossally disappointed, but, I mean, this is about what I expected. It's just kind of like, eh, you know. I have no link to Priceline. I can't run the launch sequence by remote. I'm at the point now, I just like, can I get. Can we finish the mission? Sure, party, you'll prep the hangar. I need more ammo. Shoot. You gotta switch guns. Oh. Oh, I can do that? Shoot! Why didn't you tell me? I don't know how. Uh, there's a little triangle button. Well, now I know how to switch guns, but then I think we're leaving. Oh, no, we're not. We got one last battle. When you hit that, every Xeno in the vents will pour out. Doc, you boarding? No. No, I want to help. Out here. Don't fucking die on us now. Oh, shit. Seal the HVAC ducts. Oh, there's more ammo. Here we go. It's a big room. This will take time. Right on time. Here come the bugs. Here come the bugs. Do 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 do. Keep them off us. We'll fly you cell phone. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sticking with that here again. Whoa! Right flank, inbound. What? <clears throat> I need to be careful because I am low on ammo, and I don't know if I trust Alpha and Beta here to provide me. So like, you think at this point it's like, are we gonna get like a queen alien or something at some point? I don't know. Down. Oh, that's me. 
Rebooting. Thanks, Beta. Bypassing death. Yeah, Justin is just kind of out of it at this point. It's like, what else is there to say? Yeah. <laughs> All right. You, you shoot aliens. Yeah, we, we're shooting. Yeah. Shoot. It, I gotta give credit. It is what it says it would be. You know. Yeah. You I, hear the name aliens fire a team elite. You assume you're gonna shoot some aliens. You know what's really funny? Like I, you're, I know you don't know like the story of like aliens colonial marines from like eight years ago. Mm -hmm. But that game, you didn't shoot a lot of aliens. You actually spent more time like shooting like uh, corporate mercenaries and shit. Oh really? Well, yeah, that was like the weird thing about it was it did deliver on its promise, and yet at the same time. Like, here I am complaining about how it just, we're just shooting a bunch of aliens over and over. At least there was a little bit of more variety. Mm -hmm. But it just didn't make sense. I wonder if that's just a franchise issue. Like, do you think it's just like there's only so many alien stories you can tell? Yeah. Yeah, probably. I mean, if we're being honest. And you could make another alien game. Oh yeah, make Alien, Alien Isolation 2. Yeah. I'm all over that shit. That would be good. The closest thing we got to that was Alien Blackout on mobile. Mm -hmm. Which, it's like five bucks, but it's the only mobile game that I would recommend to anybody. So, it, it's kind of a Five Nights at Freddy's kind of thing. And I know that sounds kind of bad, but it actually it's actually kind of cool. Kind of a sequel to Alien Isolation. Hmm. And they, and they, because it, it has Amanda Ripley in it. You're playing as her again. They brought back the same voice actress and everything, so. It's not a. It's not a. Like a. A cheap mobile game. They, they put some effort in it. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Damn it. Get off of my friend, you bastard! Oh shoot, he teleported right behind me. Well, this this is fucked. Oh shoot. Teammate seed my help. Okay, we're well, we're dead. Well Well So that was uh Aliens Fire Team Elite. Um yeah, I, uh, I guess I had fun. <laughs> Justin, did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, if you like shooting aliens, you, you get is, what you paid what for. This is what you want. Yeah. yeah, you got what you paid for. Um, I'm probably going to continue playing this because I got the deluxe edition, so... I might as well. You're losing money if you don't keep playing. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. I gotta justify the 70 bucks that I spent, but uh, for most people, I would say if you're not like a diehard Alien fan, like, you'd probably be fine with the $40 version. Um, yeah, I'll see what else there is to offer next with this, but uh, so far it's just a bunch of shooting aliens. A lot of that. Um, would have liked to have seen a little bit more tactical stuff, but... Uh, you heard our opinions. Yeah, we yeah. kind of just went on a stream of consciousness on this, so... I don't know. I think that's pretty good. Uh, thanks yeah, for watching, and we'll catch you on the, uh, on the next time. Uh, you know, we'll go back into Cryor. I don't know, I forget what the terminology in the Alien series is.